of the Mortal Blade, because the Mortal Blade is, after all, supposed to be the ultimate Dragon Slayer, eventually. This ritual Dragon Slayer. So, I think that's pretty amazing. And I can't think of a time since 2011 where I've gotten a kill cam on that first dragon, which makes it even sweeter, I think. So, pretty cool. All right, so we've been through this whole area before. I'd like to think that uh, these bandits have not returned yet. <laughs> it's only been a few days. But I guess we'll see. It's kind of funny because when we got here, the bandits were already in a fight with a couple caravan guards. They never even got the chance to try and extort money from us, which I think is sort of humorous. Okay. I think that can go. So, so far, we've been able to upgrade our weapons and armor. We've made it uh, four levels in five hours of playing. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're well on our way to another level, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I got another perk. And that is because we hit level five. I'm using a mod that gives me one additional perk point every five levels. That is a mod uh, created by Anai Sion. Should you be interested? And... Uh, I mean, we really have our trifecta here, which is basically heavy armor, block, and one-handed. We've invested twice in one-handed, and once in either of the other two. So, we've done a hell of a lot of blocking. Block mastery. Okay, we can block 20% more damage, or timed block. Assume a defensive position for one second after raising your shield or weapon. Block 30% more damage and staggering attackers in melee combat. If you do not block an attack during this time, you cannot attempt another timed block for two seconds. Okay. All right, so the reward there is if you get the timing right, you block a larger percentage of the incoming damage, which is pretty cool. Whereas this is more passive, but gives us 20% instead of 30. And we really don't have any other options there. The other option would be uh, nothing. Nothing in heavy armor. So I think the decision's kind of made for us. It's going to be an investment in blocking, I think. I like to try and spread these out a little bit. So I'm not throwing all of my, all of my perks into one area. Now, that might change later on as I get a bit more focused, but I'm going to go with timed block. I'm going to have uh, faith in my skills with a shield. So. Yeah, this character from a stats perspective is really kind of a stamina monster. Um, I'm trying to remember the details of the character concept sheet, but a lot of the investment is alternating between health and stamina for a certain point. But then we get to a point, I think, where, you know, reinvestment in health, there's diminishing returns because we will be getting assistance in health from other things. And this is the first time that I've ever interpreted the Mortal Blade build using Ordinator Perk Overhaul. The character build document is actually specced for vanilla, and because that's that's really that's really how you want to do it on Tamriel Vault, so you can kind of make an an even sort of comparison between builds, apples to apples kind of thing. So. Uh, that is kind of a new aspect, I guess, of this, is that we're using Ordinator here. So, that's a, a pretty important distinction, I would say. Oh, shit. Well, that 
up in here. What? Bandit. Great sword. I'll take that. Huh. Well, I'll take you as well. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to quick save here. Now let's make her approach. Interesting, a patrol of white run guards looking pretty casual there. Am I to believe the assault has not yet begun? Oh, it has. All right, let's get up in here, see what's happening. These fellas are making this it happen. It, man. They say that our cause is false, and that we are nothing more than thieves, thugs, and murderers. All right. Uh, I think we would shed the backpack in this situation. My carry weight is fine. So. But no! We are farmers! We are craftsmen! We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maidservants, and soldiers. Lucky I found that horse. We I might not have made it. We are sons and daughters of Skyrim. And Let's we do have it. This far because our cause is true. Because we fight as one. And because our hearts are bursting with anger. That's what true. What we do here today, we do for our country. For all the true nerds of Skyrim! Whiterun's walls are tall, but they are old and crumbling, like the Empire whose legion lines them. They've barricades to block us, but we'll tear through them and the Imperials behind them! Come on! Our objective is the... Alright, we've got a helmet too. We better, we better put that freaking thing on. Uh, this one. I don't know. Looks like fun, though. Uh, we'll see. Oh, bridge. If we can find a way to drop it, the city will be ours. Everyone on me, let's show these Imperial milk drinkers what true lords look like. All right. Good speech, but we're kind of sitting ducks here. So can we please, Galmar, can we do it? myself an easy target. Fan out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This ought to be interesting. I have not done this part of the quest in a very long time, so it's going to be, I think, quite fun. Provided we can stay alive. Any archers out here? Oh, yeah. You're done. Who's that? Okay, he looks like a sibby. Let's get out of arrow range. I've been wounded worse by better. Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, I got anything. I got anything. No, I got nothing. Not like this. I got a retreat. I got a retreat. They got Arthur. Oh, damn. <clears throat> oh, 
All right. <clears throat> yeah. That's what you get. No health. <clears throat> no healing potions. Strategically timed quick save so I can keep this horse. <laughs> Come on. When I gotta listen to Gomar's speech again. Okay. This will get us this will get us up there. We'll listen to his speech and then we'll quick save after it. This whole battle is actually a lot more dramatic at night, I think. But that's all right. All right. Let's try it again. So let's get our apparel set up here first. Heavy backpack goes away. This weird helmet goes on. This is it, men. Not a big fan of the iron helmet, false, but it's what we got. So. We are nothing more than thieves, thugs, and murderers. But no, we are farmers. We are craftsmen. We are sons and daughters of shopkeepers, maidservants, and soldiers. We are the sons and daughters of Skyrim! And we have come this far because our cause is true! Because we fight as one! And because our hearts are bursting with anger! Busting. What we do here today... He's pretty good order. I'll hand country, it to him. For all the true lords of Skyrim! White Run's walls are tall! But they are old and crumbly, like the Empire whose legion lines them. They barricades to block us, but we'll tear through them and the Imperials behind them. Our objective is the drawbridge. If we can find a way to drop it, the city will be ours. Everyone on right. me, let's show these Imperial milk drinkers what true lords look like! Okay. Now, I'm going to quick save here. Seems like a good idea. Big problem here is... Gotta watch the archers. Now, granted, I'm going into this without any healing potions, which is probably not advisable. Ever. But... It kind of is what it is. I mean, this is sort of the way that uh, the dice fell. So we're going to play it out and see if we can survive it this way. So we're going to do that. Mildly hungry. Get out of there, lady. I'm going to screw Is there another way in? Possibly. Yeah, possibly. <laughs> you call yourself a warrior? You could do. Come on. Shit. Die, fuck. No. <laughs> yes, they're turning me into a pin cushion, man. Ah, oh, fuckers. All right. That's a problem. I gotta. I guess I gotta be a bit smarter about it because I'm. I'm putting myself in a position where I'm open to fire as I'm fighting. So let's try it again. Important. I don't burn myself out too like see look at all those freaking archers man they're everywhere okay so we're not equipped for archery 
So we're going to get in on this crew that's going to bust through the gate. That seems like a good position for us to be in. Okay, now we get down in this business. This allows me to fight in here without taking arrow shots, at least until the next phase. Okay, we got a guy up in the tower. Okay, let's retreat a little bit. These freaking archers, we can't make it easy for them. Got to try and flank a little bit here. God damn archers. Oh, hey, here comes some more guys. Same idea. Come on. Turn down. Get this officer. Shield up, shield up. God damn it. Shield up. That'll mess you up, huh? We're routed. Fall back. Uh, yeah, you're done. Okay, okay. Shield up. Let's get down this way. Okay, the opening to the drawbridge is up there. I mean, I need to be up there, but that's also where the arrow fire is, so I gotta be... I gotta give myself a break here a bit. Okay, is she a civvy fleeing? Yeah. Me too. Okay. Shit balls. Okay. Kind of escapes me where the Gotcha. Damn it. Freaking archers. Oh gotta pull back. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh man! No healing potions makes this a dicey proposition. Oh, man. I feel like I was right there, but I can't remember where the lever is to open the drawbridge, so... Damn it. Bob and Weave. Serpentine, Serpentine. Okay. Good. Not good. Not good. Making it hard. Not using any combat mods. Son of a bitch. Those archers are kicking my ass. There it goes. All right. He doesn't use spells. Doesn't use spells, doesn't use ranged weapons. Okay. He will use potions, but he doesn't have any right now. And that's just the way... That is the way the chips fell. So I'm dealing with what I was dealt, and I got in there, but I couldn't remember where the goddamn lever was to open the drawbridge. I feel like I was right on top of it. I think it was maybe up above in the bridge area there. I wonder how many of us think we'll be the lucky ones. 
All right. So last time it worked out pretty good. I didn't. Uh, I didn't concern myself with archers. I just was part of the crew that was busting this thing down. So do that, lady. You've got to get out of there, or you're screwed. Okay, I'm going to fall back a little bit. It's not going to get any easier, so... Alright. Use a little burst of speed here. Get past some of these archers. Okay, let's see if we can... <clears throat> flank a little bit here. Okay. Yeah. Yep, there's the lever there. I gotta get on top. Freaking thing. There we go. For the glory of the Empire. Oh, got it. Hey, went right past it before. Oh, officer. Oh, he's he's got human shields. <laughs> Look out, kid. Get out of there, you dumbass. God. Idiots. All right. Who's there? I don't like you. Stop. All right, let's go this way. Can I get through there? No. Okay, they're going to route us this way. All right. We'll stay we'll stay kind of with uh Stone Fist here. He's the boss man. So We'll walk this path, I guess. Uh, archers. Get some of our archers in there. Come on. That's your job. Pick them off. Come on, come on. Guys, make a hole and I'll charge through it. Come on. So what's your story? Really? We're telling stories? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. <laughs> Jesus. Archers, do your freaking job. Today, they take away your strength. It's a team effort, man. There, nicely done. <laughs> Into the water he went. God, he's still preaching. I guess I never noticed that. What is Golmar doing? Forces the will of the Dalmor against its own people. That's the so rise that. up, rise up, children of the Empire. Come on, Galmar, let's do this. We're almost there. We've almost made it. We've almost made it. God, I know it's Pro Talos, but I still want to chop his head off. Come on, you and me. Witness. <laughs> oh, come on. We're almost there. Oh, man. 
Take a little breather. Try to recover a little bit. Slowly, very slowly. Mostly I want stamina at this point. We're taking the city. Meet the brothers gathering for the Here we go. Next step. Huh? Send offering my regards. In the name of the gods. Whoa. For that. Nice. Stay back, Lord. I'll be damned if I let this rabble take my city <sighs> without raising my own sword. That hurt, but all three of them. Wow. That was great. Okay. Oh, shit. Freaking mages and archers. Ah, damn. Come down here and fight like men. What's this lightning bolt shit? I'm done. Motherfucker. I'll enjoy killing Now that lightning kicked my ass. Huh? Halt! In the name of the yard! Oh, the sons of Skyrim! It's a little late for that. Don't ah. There you go. Nice. I'll teach you to cross me. My city without raising my own sword. Protect the Jarl with your lives! Where'd you come Okay. Let's let's have a look here. Um, so I feel like it's a little bit too early for us to use shouts, and the reason I say that it's it's kind of a role play thing, right? We haven't really learned how that shit works yet. We're still figuring that out. Um. So, million picks four. If you will look at the screen now, you will see Wildcat listed there. I have Wildcat in whatever the default configuration is for Wildcat. So that's what I'm using for combat-related mods. What are you doing? Get out of my way, idiot. <laughs> Everybody's freaked out by what I just did. Holy shit. Ugh. Damn it. No. Total war. I'm getting out. I'm sorry, Mr. Beasts. Come on, man. That's it. Come on. That's your best. Come on. About fight me. Enough. Nice. Oh. I surrender. I surrender. Peace. Everyone stand down. That's an order. Stand down. I stood down. Dignar Greymane. Your family was noticeably absent from the walls. Now I know why. Wouldn't the dagger in the back have sufficed? I feel so alive. You think this we is did it. personal? The Empire has no place in Skyrim. Not anymore. And you? You have no place in Whiterun anymore. Noah? A convenient position to hold now. But mark my words, old man. In the days to come, Ulfric will spread his rebellion thin. And what then? We need the Empire as much as it needs us. We Nords are the Empire. Our blood built it. Our blood sustains it. You of all people should know that. If this was my Empire, I'd be able to worship whoever I damned well pleased. You wish to see an Empire without Talos? Without its soul? We should be fighting those witch elves. Not bending knee to them. The Emperor is nothing more than a puppet of the Thalmor. Scott. Okay. Take that helmet off. 
Hyrim needs a high king who will fight for her. And Whiterun needs a Jarl who will do the same. Tell me, Vignar, was all this worth it? How many of those corpses lining our streets wear the faces of men who once called you friend? What about their families? Enough! Both of you! There is a burning city out there that needs a government. He's right. Galmar, come. Let us restore order. This isn't over. You hear me, you old fool? This isn't over. And you, a Stormcloak. I'd thought better of you. You'll all come to regret this day. Get over to Vendhelm. It was a Stormcloak from the beginning, asshole. Victory here. Yeah. Right. Look at that. Get over to Vendhelm. Tell Ulfric of our victory here. A little purple smudge for everyone that he knocked off. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, I think typically that that is not a fight I would ever dream of running into without he healing potions. <laughs> but I just sort of felt compelled to do it, even if, if it took a few attempts, just because, you know, it would have seemed sort of artificial. I burned all of my healing potions in the previous battle. So... I don't know. I'm cool with it. I'm absolutely cool with it. And we will celebrate our victory with little Nord Mead. Bite to eat. All right. So let's have a look. Let's turn all that crap off. Now back to Ulfric yet again. We'll go back out to the Stormcloak camp. We'll see if our horse is still there. We showed those Imperials what real Nords are made of. Yeah, well, don't get full of yourself. It's not over yet. I feel so alive. Great. Well, there's a lot of dead around. I think, you know, as as someone were to play through the Mortal Blade character concept, th there's a very specific reason why I think with this character concept, playing through the Civil War quest line at the start is so extremely powerful. It forces you to make some decisions. It forces you to you know, take some sides on things, but, you know, beyond declaring your loyalty and all of that stuff, it also gives you an opportunity to kind of ease in to the Skyrim story and in a way that allows you to become a hero and a villain pretty quickly. Because I, I think that the Mortal Blade is kind of a combination of both. I think, you know, in, in some ways, the Mortal Blade is is both hero and villain. Generally, his his objective is, is about justice, about protecting the people. But the way that this character is laid out, a lot of the decisions uh, that the mortal blade will make in order to defend the country and the culture and the people that he loves are sort of suspect you know i mean they're not suspect but they're difficult decisions they're decisions where he's he's weighing the good of the many against the needs of the one or two or few you know so, but I mean, I think that's what's great about this quest line is it's kind of forces you to make some tough decisions and either, either way, uh, whether, regardless of what side you choose, you can come away from this having become a hero and having some renown, you know, and then that plays very well 
into other parts of the story later, so looks like our horse bolted. Not surprising under the circumstances. Would have been nice to keep that horse, but no luck. So, but this is where we left our backpack, technically. So we will don the old backpack once again and uh, hoofing it back to friggin' Windhelm again. We sure showed them, huh? Thanks for your part in all that. Yeah, you too. Okay. Well, now we go. We go back to Windhelm because we are a glorified messenger boy. However, I suppose this is the second or third time now that Galmar has sort of bestowed the honor of allowing us to be the one who communicates to Ulfric Stormcloak directly. It's the second or third time he's bestowed that honor upon us, which I guess accounts for something. It shows a certain amount of faith that he has that we're going to get the job done and we're going to deliver the correct message. So I guess that should be considered a good thing, a really good thing. Hey, Joe, level five. Yes, as Gail says, closing in on level six. And we just completed the battle for Whiterun. So we are headed back to Windhelm. Okay, well, let's consult our map once again. Again, this is another milk run covering the same territory we've covered multiple times. So we're going to use fast travel. Okay. <clears throat> Spare coin. I've spent my life serving Talos. I don't plan to stop now, no matter what the Empire says. Okay, so we're going to report back to Ulfric. It's been long enough since I've been My through God, this that I true, honestly can't remember the what he said. White so this will be interesting. I've gone through the Civil War quest line multiple times and tried both sides of the conflict and like them both equally well, I think that I have sided with the Imperials much more often than I've sided with the Stormcloaks. So part of putting this character together was to try and find a character where siding with the Stormcloaks seemed plausible, I guess. All right. He's here, right? Uh, upstairs. Oh, okay. He's, he's up in his rooms. Okay, so we'll go see him there. Staying out of trouble, kinsman? Oh, God. But I love to punch that dude. Maybe you've seen masts sticking out of the water to the northeast. That would be the wreck of the Winter War. Fine vessel back in its day. Right. Mm. Yeah, I'm... I might be in the wrong section here. Huh, yeah. All 
I just gotta follow my markers. That's what I gotta do. Stop screwing around. Uh, no, Joe, we've gone beyond that at this point. There is no mediation at this point. Um, attempted to... Oh, here it is. <laughs> attempted to deliver the axe to Balgruf, and he rejected it. So, yeah. All chance for negotiation is now over. It is full-scale war at this point. And I have to admit, this place is a labyrinth. I rarely explore it. I'm allowed in here, are you? Sir. We've driven the Imperials out of White Run. This is good. Very good. We now control the center. It's a powerful position. One I aim to keep. We'll call you Ice Veins now. For hmm. the thick blood of our land has seeped into your heart. Here, take this. It's an Imperial officer's sword. A fitting weapon to use against our enemy. All right. What is our next move? I suspect you'll be of greater use to us with greater freedom. So you're free to engage the Imperials as you see fit. But I also want you to find our hidden camp in Fall Creek. Galmar will have special tasks for you, and will need you when we liberate the capital. All right. What exactly will I be doing out there? You'll be doing whatever Gamma tells you to do, and causing as much mayhem as possible for the Empire and any Yarl who supports them. Understood. Carlos guide you. Thank you, sir. All right, off we go. Well... I think this way is... Came in, right? Was it? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's have a look at what he bestowed upon us. Um, okay. Steel Sword of Lingering Fire. Target burns for three points per second until combat ends. Got a steel dagger. That's just something we recovered. Battlefield. Okay. Well, we've got some things we're going to get rid of here. So let's have a look and see where we're at. We're pretty darn close to level six. Which is great. So, um, I think next on the agenda is we'll sell off some of this extra stuff. Then I got a couple of things that I want to disenchant. But, first things first pay our respects. So, we've gotten our first official title. Ice Veins, I think it was. So, our brutal performance at Whiterun earned us a title, which is Pretty great.
I am not using a Civil War mod of any kind. No. This is pretty much all vanilla quest line we're talking about here. A few septims for my supper is all I so let's have a look here. It is about almost 4.30 in the morning. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Right. Let's see if we can catch three or four hours of sleep here. I'm a sailor on the north wind. We're laying over in Got Windhelm. some fresh baked bread? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. <sighs> it's not really necessary. I don't need turn down service. I just need to flop. If you don't mind. Ugh. Blech. Let me know if there's okay. anything else you need. Mm-hmm. Later. Okay, so... Sagramore is going to catch a few winks. And then it is back to work. This is a very, um... workmanlike character, I guess. He's all about the business, and uh, so what they've done at this point is they've they've taken the disputed portion of Skyrim, I made the center of Skyrim, captain, right? But now I'm retired, which gives them an advantage. But now they have to press the advantage, and they have to keep uh, keep gathering up as much territory as they can manage. So, now we prepare ourselves for phase two, which is an offensive. So. Okay. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to get rid of that. I don't know. These are both kind of interesting. I'm going to just keep them for now. The helm, honestly, I probably won't take advantage of that. It would take me so long to accumulate the points to make the power worthwhile that uh, by that time I will have probably moved on to a better helm. But, I don't know. It's kind of interesting, so I'm keeping it for now. Uh, Everyone says Yorland Greymane Let's do this. Need some metal hammered. Take a look. Yeah, I've got some stuff that I want to sell you. This great sword. Uh, this was wielded by an imperial soldier, and it was taken from his dead grasp. So, okay. I think everything else. The skull stuff we keep because that's kind of our outfit from home. I think we've kind of established that we're not going to be wearing the standard Stormcloak uniform. I'm pretty sure that all the higher-ups, all the officers is, have given up on trying to make us wear it. But I think wearing our own garb is part of what makes us distinctive. So... We'll get rid of those items. There's no point in carrying them around. Uh, iron gauntlets. We've got our bracers of brutality, which don't provide us with as much protection. But they give us that power attack bonus, which is kind of nice. So we'll keep those around. And just in case you weren't aware, the, the iron helmet of witches gain, gains 15 points when a living victim dies, granting the soul burst power at 10,000 points. Well, I don't know what the soul burst power is, but I thought it might be fun to just keep the helm around, and if we get to that point where we can actually use the power to give it a shot and see what it's like. So I'm just going to keep those around. The Imperial Officer's Helm is just a memento. Uh, it was the first... 
Not the first Imperial we killed, but it was one of the first Imperial battles we had. We took out an officer and then confiscated his helm as kind of a remembrance of that battle. Uh, well, take a look. Let's see what they've got. We've got a little bit of gold. Ooh. No. Whether it's arm or you I'm happy with what I got. Fight. Part of the I'm thing, seeing. right, with this character is that I, I started the game with some items that have some special significance to him. The shield and the sword, mainly. Uh, so it's hard There's to imagine no giving them up. So, so risk their lives. You want something from me? Before I do that, I would probably upgrade them. Hopefully. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Cool. Uh. I guess I'm mainly interested in the apparel. Nobody's got a hell of a lot. I think the best thing that we could do is just what we have been, which is to wander the world Thank and see what the world custom. presents to us. So, Cookware, knives, and other goods for the home. we have All offloaded some weight. That's good. So let's do this. Let's check our quest journal. Liberate Falkreath Hold. Okay. So we gotta locate a Stormcloak camp hidden in Falkreath Hold. That should be doable. So this is my plan for this. Um, I wouldn't call it a series, but I am going to be live streaming on Couch Warrior TV from time to time. And when I do some, li when I do live streams, um, you know, there's a number of different things I will do. One of the things I I do often is the build with Billy segments where we get some Fallout Four. Sometimes I'll do some specialized stuff, and then other times I'm going to do this. So this is not the last time that I will be uh, continuing the Mortal Blade story. I'm going to continue this, but I don't have a live stream schedule, so I can't tell you how often I'm going to do it or when I'm going to do it. I'm kind of going to do it when I have the time and when I feel like it, and then... Uh, when I do these streams, then I'll make it into videos afterward. So anybody who hasn't attended the stream can watch the videos and kind of get caught up with things. That is the plan. So um, I hope that answers your question. So this is just one of those things that I'm going to kind of keep in my back pocket so that uh, if I have an opportunity to live stream and I don't have... I don't have another game or another playthrough that I really need to get to, then this is one where it's fun to just jump on and have a relaxing playthrough, right? So that's kind of how I would intend to do this. So I, again, it's not the end. I would like to continue doing this. I'd like to continue on from level one and just kind of keep it rolling, but I don't know how often it'll happen. I can't say because I have no idea. But just something to do for, for live streams when I don't have anything else pressing. Okay. Who is that? Oh, it's a Stormcloak patrol. 
What are you doing over there? Okay. None of our business. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you fucking serious? Why can I not run? What the fuck? Big help the Stormcloak patrol was. Christ on a cracker. What's going on? Tried to charge the bastard and I slowed down to a crawl. That didn't help. I think part of the problem for me is getting used to the differences between Legacy and SE when it comes to sprinting. How it's it went from being a hold the key down to being a toggle. And quite often that screws me up big time. Like I'm so used to holding down my shift key to sprint. So... Yeah, I think um, this type of character can be a frustrating one to, to play at low level, but the low level journey makes the high level play that much sweeter. So that's part of the reason why I like to just play it out however the chips fall, you know? I mean, I could go out and purchase a bo whole bunch of healing potions, but I feel like um, maybe not having healing potions and limiting my spell use adds an element of tension to the whole thing that, that's kind of fun. All right, hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. Okay. Walk away right now. <laughs> Nice try, <laughs> but you don't scare me. Why not? I'm not going Aren't to. Aren't I not scary? Again. Hmm. Uh. I think I'd rather die than give you any of my stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna take your stuff now. Well, she was definitely easier to handle than that nasty mage was who was dual casting fire and lightning. That whole thing caught me totally by surprise. Yeah, the other thing too is like with this character, um, I think uh, Obviously, the, the higher level you get, the more effective you become against mages, but that's not necessarily because he's trying to do that. It's because a lot of the defensive enchantment that we'll employ as defense against the dragons that we're fighting will also help us against mages, which is pretty cool. So. Okay, up we go. This game never ceases to amaze me. Ever. Just always looks gorgeous, no matter what. I mean, that, that's pretty amazing right there. Good place to quick save, also. <laughs> Okay. Oh, people, we've been at this for almost six hours. I can't believe there's anyone still on the stream. That is incredible. Uh, but I think I'm going to have to knock off here pretty soon. So we'll, we'll probably go uh, for another 10 minutes, say, till 9 p.m. my time, and we'll, we'll call it a wrap. And then I'm going to head home and get some sleep or something maybe uh, but this has been great fun super fun uh, man it would be 
would have been really awesome to make it to level 6 before calling it a night, but I think we're going to come up just short of that. Unless something really freaking amazing happens. But, uh... No, it's been a lot of fun. So, once again, I just want to, make. No time for to reiterate if you're if you're interested in the Mortal Blade as a character build and want to learn everything you need to learn in order to build and play this yourself at level 1 through 50. Uh, the document that I put together for this is available on Tamriel Vault. You can go to mortalblade.charactercrusade.com and you will find all the details. You'll find a link also in the description below this video uh, that will get you there as well. Uh, if you're interested in watching the archived videos of my experimental play of this character at high level when I was crafting the final draft of the character concept, you can find that on the Couch Warrior TV YouTube site, which presumably you're at right now. <laughs> uh, if you look at my channel, you will find a playlist there called Mortal Blade. I think it's 20, 21 episodes, just high level play and discussion as I kind of work through or talk my way through uh, all the different aspects of the build that I wanted to cover. So it's all there if you're interested. Uh, there may also be some information about the Mortal Blade on the website at charactercrusade.com. Uh, just go to the homepage, use the search tool, look for Mortal Blade, and you'll find uh, articles and links to videos and stuff like that that contain relevant information. So I have been told by uh, people people who know what's what on Tamriel Vault that the Mortal Blade character build is one of the more fully fleshed out and detailed character builds they've ever seen on the site, which is pretty gratifying. Uh, so check it out. There's a lot there. There's a lot there to, to know, including um, some interesting information on the circles of character conflict, which are kind of similar to a psychological profile, if you will, giving some suggestions about how you could play this character. 